What's more annoying, your neighbor's out of control weeds and grass or your neighbor's trailer that just sits there out on the street? Well, the city of Clearfield is asking questions like this on Facebook right now. It's a unique approach to code enforcement that education, that's educational, I should say, for some and hurtful for others. Haley Higgins has a story you'll see only on ABC4. Well, these Facebook polls are popular. They've got over 4,000 votes in just a week. Minor code violations, major attention online. In a quest to discover which unneighborly action reigns supreme, the city spokesperson created a code enforcement Sweet 16 bracket, much like March Madness, but the decision is digital. I think initially, I think the first one we had about 800 respondents on it, and that one blew me away. I think on a typical survey we've done, we've gotten 100, 150 people responding. The first five polls entice votes and heated discussions. Education is the point, says Trevor Cahoon. People are saying, well, I didn't know that these were the the ordinances or I didn't know that's what the city was expecting and and that I think has been really good to engage them. It's just a matter that everybody in the city has to follow the rules. Oh, if you could get some of the trash out of the yard, some of the old vehicles, that kind of stuff, uh, that'd be a good thing. Others argue the bracket makes light of difficult situations often suffered by low-income families. It came here with no back door. Renters abandoned this car when Elizabeth McGahey evicted a couple behind on rent. They left the car, not the keys. I'm so fl frustrated about this because there's nothing I can do. McGahey doesn't have the title, so it can't be towed or salvaged. She can't get a title because it has a lien. She says she's stuck. A $700 fine is close to her monthly income. I think that's so unfair because I've been trying everything. Bracket voting continues for a few more weeks. The information will be given to the city council. In Clearfield, Haley Higgins, ABC4 News. Now, the city gives a 14-day warning before a violation fine and says that they're willing to work with people who have special circumstances.